In the past week alone, the country has been horrified by the images on our televisions. A 15-year-old high schooler shooting a classmate to death in Oregon. No one seems to know why. Two policemen and a hero outside a Walmart killed in Vegas by some sick husband and wife team. A 26-year-old taking inspiration from Columbine, killing a student on a Seattle college campus. It leaves the nation and the president asking why. The president calls it a one-day story and suggests that mass shootings are on the rise. Are they? Well, one professor and criminologist says no. He compiled the data of shootings with four or more fatalities from 1976 to 2012 and found that these incidents on a chart look like an EKG, up and down, a heartbeat, not a steady rise. Does that surprise you? And joining me now is the man who crunched these numbers, James Allen Fox, professor of criminology at Northeastern University. Professor Fox, good to see you as always. But I have to say it's hard to believe when it seems like every week we're reporting another mass shooting, many of them at, at schools, uh, that this isn't an increasing trend, but that's what your data shows. I have to ask, though, your figures only go to 2012. Could there have been a spike in the last two years? Sure, there could be, but there was a spike in the early 2000s. There was a spike in late 1990s. It was a spike around 2005, and usually spikes are followed by troughs. So we shouldn't jump to conclusions. You know, uh, Barack Obama has called uh, gun violence the new normal. I should remind you, however, that uh, Bill Clinton once said we should focus on trend lines, not headlines, and the trend line here is flat, even while the population of this country has grown. So you're not saying that this is, this is not something we should be concerned with. You're just saying that maybe we should have been as concerned years ago as we seem to be today. Right. This, obviously, it's a horrific event when four, five, 12 people are gunned down. Uh, and we should be trying to deal with situations like that. But let's not think that this is an epidemic. We hear so much about shooters such as the one on a, on a college campus in Seattle last week, being inspired by the Columbine shootings. Was there a jump in shootings uh, shortly after Columbine? Actually, there was a decline in shootings after Columbine. Uh, after Columbine, America was obsessed with 9-11. Uh, and there, were, there was a period of time when there were no multiple victim shootings in schools. Prior to Columbine, actually, there were a whole stream of shootings, about six mass shootings in schools over a period of about three or four years. So there are the, it, it, it's a random process when sometimes things cluster together and then sometimes there's a lull and we talk about other factors and other issues in America. There was uh, additional gun control in the 90s and then mm -hmm. some of that has expired since then. Yeah. Did that have any effect one way or the other on these shootings? Well, no, actually not. I, I did measure the impact of the federal weapons ban, the assault weapons ban that we had for a 10-year period of time beginning in 1994 on mass shootings and the Im impact was negligible. Because even though there, we had this ban in place, there were still plenty of assault weapons in circulation. And indeed, most mass murderers don't use assault weapons. They use, uh, 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 they use semi-automatic handguns. Uh, that's the most common weapon, but not what would be declared an assault weapon and banned.